Mr. Point Clark. of order, you missed a subject here. Number six, question period. Pardon? Questions from the public. Number six, you missed that one. Yeah. Uh, anybody, uh, the staff has drawn to my attention uh, of our procedural bylaw, Don. And uh, members of the public present in the council chamber shall maintain order and quiet and shall not address council except with the permission of council. That's our present uh, procedural bylaw. So if you wish to address council and it's not on the agenda. Oh, it is on the if agenda. It is on the ag if it's on the agenda, then yes, you should have come forward. Public at. question period, number six. It is before corporate reports. Yep. I came up here and then you said, I would like anybody to address something that is on the agenda. That's right. Question period is for things that are not on no, the question period. No, we are, no, no. We have, a, that has been eliminated question. You have, you have eliminated that? No, we haven't eliminated it. There is a procedure to follow that staff has drawn to my attention, and that is that it, if it's not on the agenda, it must be a motion of counsel to hear the deputant. I'm, I should not have that authority to make that decision. It's up to counsel that, that gives me that authority. Well, I've always been informed that it's something that is not on the agenda. No, no. Because if it was on the agenda, then you'd it's be on the agenda, it. you are quite free to speak to it. Yes. Then it would be addressed at another time during some other, because then it would be on a different time in the agenda. No, and no. we've seen that happen today, that where things were brought forward, it is for things that are not on the agenda. Uh, because no. why would you have if a you question are, If you have an item that's on the agenda, we welcome you to speak to it. It is for items that are not on the agenda. No. You, okay, could you please ask for the public question period? You, you neglected the public question period. Could you please ask for that? No, no, that's, no, I didn't no, that's ask for, for items the public that question period. I, I, I will ask for the public question period, but then for the person to be heard, it needs a motion of counsel. Well, do so. So, if you, you wish to be heard? Yes, I do. And what is the item? It is an item in regards to uh, some planning that's going on on the airport road. And I would like to ask a couple questions of council. Madam Mayor, on a point of order, is it an item on our agenda? Today. Do I have a report? Is, is it, it on the committee? agenda? No, Otherwise, see, what you're trying... Just, you yeah. just said what that council, council no, just can a moment. make a motion yeah. to hear it. No. Yeah, it, it needs a motion to hear it because Good. the motion will possibly read, that, uh, or could be, that you go to general committee. We're trying to encourage items that are not on the agenda to go to general committee where it can be debated and staff has an opportunity to investigate it. Otherwise, it comes here and we send it to General oh, When have you formally changed these procedures? It's always been the procedure. No change. I've just no. not been following the procedure, being far more uh, For the last 10 years? Yes, that's right. Yeah. For the last, the last 10 years. The last 30 years. <laughs> yeah. For the last 30 years, you've got it wrong. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, the item, uh, the, the, wh what do you wish to deal with? And we'll follow the procedure. What is the item? Yes, it's about the shared property. The which? S-H-E-A-R-D, shared oh, property. Uh, uh, yeah, the shared property. -E and I have a couple of questions, yeah. which is inconsistent with the public question period. And I well, would like to ask this of council, which has been the standing procedure for the last yeah. 20, 30 years. Well, it has changed. I, that I've been directed by council to follow the procedure. Yeah, absolutely. Well, actually, since that's been the procedure for 30 years, then that would be the procedure. No, no, because no, if no. you've never followed the right procedure, yeah, then you no. have to go with the uh, fact that that is the standing sorry. way in which you do things. You, you want to discuss the shared property no, on no, airport road? No, no, I want to road. ask questions in the question period, which you did not ask. Yeah. You skipped over that particular item. Yeah. So I would like you to call forth question period, okay. and then... Well, I'll ask the clerk to explain it, if you would. Maybe you will... Recently, uh, council asked Madam Mayor to, uh, to follow the city procedure bylaw, so notwithstanding the comment that she may have not been following procedures, which was a practice, the city does have a city procedure bylaw covering the uh, operation of council. 
and our procedure bylaw does indicate that if a person wishes to address council, then they are to uh, make their request in writing six days prior to the council meeting. And then if a matter is not on the agenda, if council wishes to deal with it, then they can ha pass a motion to, uh, to accept that deputation. I would like to hear the part that specifically addresses question period. That is a general procedure, not question period. What have you got for question period? The procedure bylaw states, Any person wishing to address council on any matter shall submit a request to the clerk at no, no, least six days. Question period. Question period. Then it says, Clause 35, a person granted permission to address council shall confine their remarks to the stated business. No, question then it period. states, then it states, council may grant permission to a person who is present at council and wishes to address council on a matter on the agenda. Question period. You're, you're reading a generalized statement to try to get rid of an issue rather than it, dealing uh, with it. Uh, Crystal, is there anything in the procedure mm -hmm. referring to question period? In our order of business, we do indicate that we have public question period, but then in following later, it does say that that is on a matter on the agenda. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, we're dealing with Don Barber. Roy, if you could just step down yeah. for a moment, please. I want to... Okay, now, you want to... You have to indicate what item you want and you have. It's on the shared property on Airport Road, right? Yes, that's what okay. I come to... Okay, I need a motion of council to deal with it. What about the Ward 1 councillor, which I reside? Perhaps she could put forward this motion. Since it would be consistent, I, with the I would procedures. suggest, Don, that it would be appropriate for you to take it to general committee. If you could put the questions or whatever that you you want to ask or speak to ahead of time, it would allow the staff and council to save the time by being prepared to to answer the questions that you may have. It's not my ward. I'm not I'm answering. Ward councillor knows about it. You've asked me. That is my advice to you: is that you. Uh, asked to be heard at general committee and uh, if you could give us the questions ahead of time it's probably the most efficient way to handle it Boy, I really and we'll, and we'll be glad to, to, to you know to whatever the question is it, it will be it will be analyzed or brought whatever information you want okay you've changed the okay. rules without notice thank you no, we haven't changed. I want to make it clear. We have not changed the procedural bylaw. The council has asked me to implement it. And, Councillor Unica. That would be helpful because, in fairness, you could argue, and I accept that, that you know, your protocol has been this. But I think everybody should be very aware of how this transpired because I recall it very, very well. It was only a couple of months ago where a member of this council around the regional council table asked for leave to speak and was voted down and some of us were taken aback it's procedure if it is not on an agenda this is not a debating club we're a decision making body this gentleman but anybody else can can bring up an issue in my ward that i'm not ready to deal with today i haven't spoken to my constituents it's not on file i haven't got the file here i haven't got a staff report so what and i think the gentleman's right your protocol for 30 years has been contrary to proper procedure, but what brought it to the fore was when, and it was Councillor Sato, who was not granted leave to speak as an elected official around the table, but it was the right decision. Yeah. So it made us reassess when we discussed it, saying, by God, that is what procedure says. You can't come to Council and say, I want to discuss the price of tea in China. Yes. Not on my agenda. If it's appropriate, it goes through the process. Then when it is on our agenda, we deal with it accordingly. But the point is a fair one. The protocol has always been. The fact of the matter is procedure is emphatically clear. Council's not a debating club. And it's not because of questions of Council. The issue arose at Regional Council, I would say, two months ago, and that's what initiated the debate. I think the press should know that as well. We're not changing procedure. We're finally following it to the letter after being reminded of what procedure is. But it's straightforward. You can't go to an annual general meeting of a corporation and say, I want to discuss the price of tea in China, unless they make tea, of course. It's not on the agenda. It was mailed out. Next time, put it on it. That's how you properly conduct a meeting. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Okay, thank you, Don. So, actually, and, uh, Ron Searle, I believe, started this question period. Yes. He's the one who originated. I have no idea. I 
I have no idea. I'd have to, uh, uh, the clerk would be glad to go back and look at an agenda. Yeah. Well, seeing as you won't no, permit yeah. a question. No. Don't give it to me. No, okay. No. There's no motion to deal with it, so therefore. Not even from it, our elected, I would my elected official? Even the fact that this has been going on as a standard procedure, no. you can't Sorry. cut Mr. Barber, we've, we've given you the explanation. I would strongly suggest, if it's an important matter to you, that you bring it to the next general committee. Put it in writing so staff and the ward councillor, I, I imagine it's councillor Adams, is aware hours. of the situation and can respond to it after doing the, the required research that is ready. Okay. I Thank you, Don. And we'll now go to Roy. Hours. I guess he wants to speak. Pardon? Not on the agenda. If it, uh, Roy, is it on the agenda that you wish to speak? I come bearing peace. Pardon? I come bearing peace. Now, what I no. would like to know from this council... No, 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 no. Just, uh, just sorry. Right. I want to know what item you're going you to address. It's on the agenda. I'm just trying to explain. If a person comes before the next council meeting, and this is on the agenda, public question period, and say he wants to congratulate the council or something. Does it have to go through a motion? Yes. So Not therefore, the you might as well yeah. take that off the agenda. Yeah. So uh, I understand what you're doing and what you're saying, yeah. but the thing is, is if we want to make a presentation at the next council meeting, you, we must notify the clerk yeah. six days prior mm -hmm. to the deputation right. coming forward. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. I understand that. Yeah. I agree with that. As long as everybody knows the rules and regulations. Yeah, that, that's exactly it's it. It's no use debating and discussing it here today because it's a no-win-win -win situation. Yeah, so we, in future, that if you want to make a deputation, that you go on the agenda. Yeah. Then it's Yeah, make agenda. a deputation. That's right. Okay. Or go to general yeah, committee. There's two avenues in which you can go. Well, but, it, uh, if you want to bring it forward, it's more impressive to bring it forward to council, where everybody's here, staff. No, we're uh, tell you our general committees. I want to say this council general committee is fully attended. I know. They're I very, know. very seldom. I would in fact, myself personally, I'd rather come to council. Uh, Madam Mayor, in fairness, there are no cameras at general committee. Let's be honest. Exactly. There's no cameras at general committee. No. It's a little more saying. difficult. So now everybody knows the rules. Yep. And I hope that that is eliminated from the agenda. There is no more public question period. That's right. Well, there, you, know, you can get up and ask a question. If it's on the agenda. It's on the agenda. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, okay. Councillor Mahoney, please. There's oh. people who sat here for three hours today, thinking that it was the old way. Don't be. Don't be so. Since I was mentioned, Madam yeah, Mayor, um, the previous council meeting was exactly the exactly same. The well, mayor. The, the mayor way. indicated. Yeah. Is there? If there's anyone who would like to address council, council on any matter that is on, on the agenda. At the, in, the pre, in the council meeting two weeks ago, the mayor indicated well, any item that is on the agenda. I'm not going to stand here and argue with no, you. No, please no. don't, Roy. Please step no, no, down. We have some business to do. Thank you. Are you coming up to me? We're now going on with... Uh, now we're getting thrown out of the council chambers. Committee reports. Thank you very much. Committee reports. Have you got the authority to remove us? The Planning and Development Committee... Uh, report of uh, 9 of June the 7th. Could you please um, put a motion, folks? Excite, accept item 052, which was adopted. A motion to adopt. A seconder. All in favor? Carry. Next one is the Mississauga Safe Driving Committee. Um, Seconder, we got all in favor. Carried. Yes. Oh, sorry. sorry. Could I could I just clarify something? Sorry, I was trying to find the page here. Um, I just wanted to clarify that previously council had um, had agreed to oh, the um, to the new safe driving handbook um, being distributed being distributed to every household in the city, and that was on a previous recommendation.
Quite honestly, if you don't att att pay attention to the security, Don, we'll call Peel Regional Police. I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you very much. Did you have her permission? Get the other security guard there, too. Sorry, Councillor Sayers. That's okay, Madam Mayor. That was. Uh, Pardon? We've, we've had incidents before with that resident, and uh, I think we took the appropriate steps. As you know, we had problems at uh, the uh, Urban Forestry Management Committee, where we did have to call Peel Regional Police, where a resident was accosted by that particular um, person who just left the council chambers. So I think anyone that's watching should be aware that this is not an isolated incident, that we have had experience in the past. Uh, very unsavory experiences in the past, and that's why those measures were taken today. Yes. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to speak on the road safety handbook. Okay. 